Has nukes will die. Yep, let's go. Uh, nope, I left my decon planner. That one. That's the only thing I want to take with me. So I can do that. That's a lot of crap on the ground. Uh, catch. Catch. I feel more confident with nukes. Uh, catch. Uh, catch. Is it me, or do they get bigger? G'day mate, and welcome back to Factorio with me, Jetty. So, this episode, uh, birds and reactors, nuclear reactors. Uh, those ones. Uh, actually, I don't want to request them. I want them in this slot. Yes. Uh, I need four of them. And then I need that to go away. And then I need heat pipes. And then I need heat exchangers. Um. No, we can bring them out from there. And then I need turbines. So, <sighs> nuclear reactors are a pain in the ass, honestly. Um, so, one reactor powers four boilers being eight turbines, okay? Well, not quite. Um, one reactor, one reactor powers four boilers and each boiler does one point like seven eight turbines or some stupid number like that. Uh, but with a neighborhood bonus. So when I have one reactor and I power it with a second reactor, it means they have a hundred percent neighborhood bonus, which means basically get twice the power out of each of them, which means one reactor can now do eight uh heat exchanges and I Honestly, it's it's just easier ratio-wise if you have a little bit of a power loss by rather than having one boiler running 1.78 heat exchange or steam turbines or whatever it is. Um, oh. One heat exchanger run 1.78 steam turbines. You just accept a little bit of loss and just run two. It just simplifies the whole maths, the whole ratios, the pipes, everything. Uh, and then if I double the reactors again... I think I can power 24 per row. I think. Yeah, I'm really confident. Maybe it's 16 per row. Because we get a double neighborhood bonus again. That looks a little bit too long. It could be right. It could be wrong. But that's the maximum amount of space I have. So if I run that belt that away. Yep. And then we need to get fuel in here. Uh, inserter, inserter, out, out, active provider, active provider. Uh, actually, I got substations right here. So I want to have. Roboport. Substation there, substation there, substation like here. Okay, copy those, put them at the top, copy that, reverse it, put it there, 
Uh, is that cobalt drained yet? It would help if I double sided it. Nope. Some of the coal works somewhere in the base. That's something at least. Uh, Alright. Basically, I want to start getting fuel into these things. Uh, that didn't work. Uh, we want to have nuclear fuel cells. Those ones. And 10 is heaps. Ten, 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 ten. Okay. And unfortunately, these guys take so long to heat up. Uh, basically, you lose a whole fuel cell in the process of just heating up your nuclear reactors. Uh, water there and there. One's being requested. There we go. I've found, I've used all the ones we had in storage. Uh, okay. I just want to worry about heating up really one side of the reactor first. Ideally. It's going to take ages to heat up. Uh, can I... Do that, please. Alright. You're all gone of coal. Not that anything can reach it. Yeah, we're going to need a couple of reactors to keep the lights on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, where's that coal? And that's the thing, because because we're low on power, all the coal's running slower. Which means I can't really tell how much we are and are not using yet. It's nothing good is happening when you run out of power in Factoria. Uh that can go away. That can go away. Alright, where are you up to? Uh hate two sixty. 216 climbing ever so slowly. Uh, so you're doing... So... Uh, 40 megawatts is... 4 heat exchanges. And you've got 120 megawatts. So you can do 12 it turns out. That looks like a better length. Yeah, I was over. That's okay. If we remove that and that... That's the amount I need. We're going to remove those. We're going to use blasting caps again. We're good. I get some weird lag whenever we put them down. Uh, landfill. Go away. Uh, that failed. Okay. That's that done. That's that done. Uh, we're still waiting on heat. Which means now I know how this side looks. Uh, okay. So I want to copy that, reverse it twice, dump it down right there. Uh, same story, put in blasting caps. Two of those. There and there. And now I want to move the whole thing to the right. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay. But that's our nuclear build. Uh, now it's going to produce how much power? Um, 120, 240, 480, 480. 480 megawatts, which is probably enough to get us out of trouble. Uh, and yet some of it's already started heat turning on because it's got up to 500 degrees. I probably should cut off the water. Yeah, we're going to cut off the water. 
Um, it just helps if the whole lot gets up to 500 degrees before you add the water. Because um, you start removing heat. Uh, not to mention we get to see the glowy, glowy heat pipes as it gets hotter and hotter. Okay, so... If that gives it power... I th think... Crap, that's already another pile of biters hanging around. And another, another pile. Yeah, I don't know what's stopping the biters from charging. Uh, okay, we've got fuel... We've got to get to like this. So we've got to get a little bit, at least a little bit shiny on the heat pipes. That's already up to 500 degrees at this end. So we're just waiting on this end to slowly go up. 500. All right, put them back down. That didn't work. There and there. And there and there. And wow. Power magically fixed. Okay. Um, Alright. So we still can burn lots of things to produce power. Um, but it's only going to be over our first 500 megawatts. So only over that do we actually burn power. Uh, burn, burn things for power. Everything, everything below that comes from nuclear. And then worst comes worst, we can always just duplicate the nuclear belts. But now with that done, now with refined concrete down, now with research not picked out. Next level miners with next level assembly machines, with next level furnaces, with next level radar. Sounds good to me. Uh, all right, now with all that done, it means it's time to look at these damn seismic towers. Although, with the mod having a couple of updates, it seems like the worms are way less annoying than they once were. Um, don't get me wrong, they're still annoying occasionally, but they're less so. Uh, okay, so we want you to go away and you to go away. We want you to go away. We want an assembly machine. Ah. Uh, Alright, what do we need for these seismic towers again? We need fuel cells down the other side. Refined concrete, right here. Electric engines going to come via bots. Processing units via bots. Copper cable via a second assembler. Uh, so you're going to make... What? Yeah, that one. And you're going to make... Copper cable and yeah, okay. I haven't got that far yet. Holy crap, we got 300 wire in storage. Okay, not gonna request in concrete. I'm gonna add power. Uh, I'm gonna cap that cap that to one slot, I think. Uh, on their way, on their way, on their way, on their way. Okay. All right. Killing all burrowing worms and damaging the structures within 80 tile range. So now it only does, it used to do, I think it was 80 damage. Uh, now it only does 30 damage. So it, it's a lot less damage to us. And potentially less damage the worm. Um, but I think it just kills... Yeah, it just kills the worm outright. Which is a bonus in my book. Uh, okay, and now that we have refined concrete. Let's get rid of that. And let's set you to... Refined concrete. And then... Hit the plus button lots. Yep. And 
let's not pay further out just yet. Yep, yeah, let's just do the first row. Uh, my power pole went away. I'm going to control Z too many times. Uh, load fuel cells. There are few so fuel cells. Bye, robots! Uh, they're picking up everything. Uh, good attempt, guys. I think you ran out of battery power right about here. But they got close. Uh, there's 1.8k in there and all 1.8k has been picked up. Alright, cool. Uh, we're making refined concrete at a rate of... 9. How much normal concrete are we making? 30. And we're using... 20 of it. Okay, I'd like to make this build bigger, but that's not going to happen. So we're going to do the logical thing and throw speed modules at our problems. 33. Uh, oh, crap. Where does concrete go back in? Uh, we're going to need uh, one of them. And you're going to have to bring in concrete. Um... So I'm going to have to... Alright, you're all empty. So I'm going to have to put in one of them. Kill them off. I'm going to have to change you to a buffer chest, which I don't carry on me, it seems. So at least I have a buffer... And then I'm going to have to go around anything that requests concrete and change it to make sure it requests from buffer. Uh, 31. So if I pull those out, we should now be at 30.3. Pull those out. Because I want to do slightly less. 29. Done. Alright. Crap ton of refined concrete. Couple of seismic blast towers. Oh, that's not big at all. Um. So I want to put these, of all places, and we can sort of see how big it is on the radar view, sort of. It sort of interferes with all the other radar views. Uh, fill those miners in, fill those miners in, finally. Maybe they'll survive long enough to actually get some work done this time. Oh, they're facing the wrong direction. Uh, you can also do uh, item on ground. Go away. All right. So that should cover us in this corner. Uh, that should cover us there. Yeah, I can't really see the the radar coverage. Oh, and of course they need power as well. Oh. Alright. Hopefully this is enough to start keeping the worms under control. Um, we'll, we, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, uranium's going... Sticks are going, refined concrete's going, normal concrete's going, seismic blast towers are going, power's fixed. Ah, uh, They're mostly pushed back. We're still firing shells out down here. And down here. Like this. Why is this not attacking? And this, and this, and this. What's my artillery range up to? Uh, 
Uh, automatic range is at 300. No, they should attack at 300. Uh, those cliffs can go away. Those cliffs can go away. Alright. And I am up to... How many shields? Uh, not enough. What's that? Six, seven, eight. Uh, no. Five. Yeah, I sort of want to get out there and deal with some of these biters. But I have a feeling it'll also lead to my death. Alright. We've got one there. We want one. About here. Hang on, where do you cover to? You cover to... About... There. Buffer chest is in the way. Oh, it is too. You cover to there. Uh, many people have told me about missing rare reports. They're not missing, they're just holidaying. Uh, you're meant. What? You, you, you. Literally right where that repair tower is. Okay. Uh, you would cover to there, so then I need one in the corner. And then one down around here. And that attack was the battery type, which is doing damage to the walls. Like, not a lot of damage, but a little bit of damage. Uh, that's obviously from a worm attack. Um, because, yeah, now that they re ghost things down, it's going to be really hard to tell where the worms are hitting, which, don't get me wrong, is is a great thing. I'm going to be so, a, a, a lot less worried about what worms are doing now. Um, okay, so we've got some seismic towers down. Uh, I don't want those. I do not want to get stuck in the pipes. Oh, I need to change concrete to requests from buffer chests. Uh, you buffer, you buffer. They're the only two things that do concrete. Yes. I don't know what you are either. Artillery wagon? Engines. Oh, wait. Uh, engines, check. Red circuits, check. Pipe, check. Gears, check. Uh, if I just look at that and soda, that would probably tell me. Yeah. Okay, so that's... No, nope. what the hell are you? Copper cable. Oh, you're a combinator. I don't need the combinator. Uh, okay, so that's all done. Uh, actually, they're complete, are they? Oh, apart from two little pipes. Yeah, they're complete. So, yeah, that fixed all our problems. Apart from everything's got a nice green tinge now. And those two still connect with one another, so I can't argue with that either. Uh, actually... Hmm, you're not going to tell me what the pipe's moving. Because we're not maxing out enough. Yeah, because I'm wondering if the pipes just give me a longer underground gap between the two pipes, or whether they actually have a higher throughput. Um, okay, so we've actually concreted pretty much the whole top of the base already. Alright. Uh, I was down here to look at here. What do I need to do to get more shields faster? You're making shields. You're also making shields. You're just waiting on lots and lots of shields that just are not happening fast enough. Because that's 10 seconds. That's 
And you need 10 of them, so it's 100 seconds. And then you need 15 of them, which is 1, 1,500 seconds. 1,500 seconds, which is like several minutes. Okay, that's why they're not happening terribly fast. Okay. And some of them are also getting stolen to go that way. 50% of them are. And... Oh boy, you're still in the first one. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go with what shields we have available. We have plenty of PLDs. We're just going to grab some of them and hope for the best. Alright, to combat we go. What could go wrong? Uh, I don't have gates. What do I need for gates? Concrete gate. Just needs concrete wall. Hey you, can I have concrete wall please? A hundred. Mm, sure. Might take two seconds. Okay, definitely not. Uh, one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them. Uh, one stack. So, f first things first. Upgrade planner. We're going to upgrade from uh, concrete wall to concrete. Really? I can't do concrete gate? Oh, that's annoying. I should be able to do that upgrade path. Of all things. You can't reach. I know. Uh, okay. You put those there to separate the gate. No, I want to... I want to do them... So this is one of the things you can do to avoid lag, basically. If you have any sort of lag spike when you're coming back to base, uh, you can get caught with a gate not opening in time. So you can run them sideways, and that way when you walk over one end, the whole lot open at once. Uh, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to split them halfway. See that that stop that I get, but it means I've I've already run a certain amount in, so I should be safe. And you know what? I'm gonna cut that, and I'm gonna copy that right there. Okay, I don't want that, and I don't want that. Bots, take it all away. <sighs> Do I? Oh, there's a. Yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my gap in the Logi Network, remove that, cut that, paste it there instead. Paste that back there, get the refined concrete. Oh, that was wrong. Done, fixed. Okay. And then find the couple of tiles I can stand in where I don't touch anything. So that's a blank decon planner and that's a item on ground decon planner. Blank one can go away. I'm gonna dump any blueprints that could be important. Uh active provider. I'm gonna dump everything. Oh, hi. Well, they died off quick. Uh, I'm going to dump... Stop it, robots. Bad robot. Uh, dump off 
No, I wanted that one. Dump off those. Dump off those. I th think I should. I want to keep the compatrons. Uh, put those in there. I think I can get rid of everything else. Uh, I might hold on to that one. Alright, I should really be doing research. Um, I think that's going to be the next important one. Mm. I wonder if that gives me any more... Module slots. Because I haven't looked at the module slots. I'm going to assume that that's really expensive and gives me more module slots. Uh, okay. Alright. Has nukes will die. Yep, let's go. Uh, nope, I left my decon planner. That one. That's the only thing I want to take with me. So I can do that. That's a lot of crap on the ground. Uh, catch. Catch. I feel more confident with nukes. Uh, catch. Uh, catch. Is it me, or do they get bigger? Oh, that's right, you guys don't die. Hang on! Hang on, hang on, hang on. Back here, robots. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Where's the tank? Tanky, 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 tanky. You have nothing in your grid. Okay, because everything died. Alright. Where is the equipment grid stuff? Okay. Uh, does not go... Okay, so let's start with... They're all vehicle stuff. Do none of these go in personal armor? No. I thought I had a really good idea. I thought I was going to put one of these in my personal armor. Uh, train cannon pot. No, that only goes in trains, obviously. Uh, tank cannon... That only goes in locos, that goes in personal. Explosive rocket recipe. Explosive rocket pack. Cluster splits when launched from vehicle. Oh, okay. Nice. Poison bomb, napalm bomb. Incinerary, wow. Uh, Cluster effect, area effect. Okay, so there's some nice weapons in here. Um, but nothing I can put in my armor. Seri auto cannon, explosive auto cannon, they're all auto cannon shells. Uh, sniper rifle is a really bad idea for me because it's got a low rate of fire. A high rate of fire is the best thing for me. And maybe destroy a capsule snow because they're immune to. You do electrical, don't you? Electric. Okay, where's one of those biters? Uh, they're all conveniently hidden. Uh, mirror. Electrical, 100%. Laser, 100%. Damn. Why are you guys going like this around it? Okay, whatever. Uh, so that doesn't help me. 
So it means combat wise, defender capsules would be the absolute best they would have for combat, which is crap. Uh, just against the, the 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 ceramic ones, the mirror ones, the mirror ones. Uh, wrong button. Ignoring them is also a really good option. Just for the record. I could literally just run around and ignore them. Alright, we're going to run this way. Uh, hopefully they get bored. Give you guys a present, you guys a present, you guys a present. Uh, more presents. Oh, you guys are out on Peninsula. Have a present. Uh, crap, I'm out of nukes. That's never happened. I've never gone outside the walls and came back and not been dead from self-nuking. Uh, into the walls. Now we play Dodge the Robot. Oh. Can't catch me. I'm going to keep walking through networks. No, go away. Uh, you can't give me stuff. You can catch me and take stuff away, but you cannot give me stuff. That filled up quickly. All right. Mm, I have 30 nukes this time. Hi. Hi. Oh, there's still live ones there. And there, it seems. And more of them. Definitely more of them. Oh, that's thick. Uh, trees, go away. Bad trees. Uh, oh, there's another pile up there. Oh, ow, do not run into spit. Uh, oh, fire one that way as well. There we go. Uh, through the pack, through the pack, everything's fine. Um, this side of the lake, we have you lot. You lot. You guys. No, I'm just trying to just, just circle around just for a second. Oh crap, there's more of you. Oh boy! Ah, uh, hit spit again. Get out of the way, tree. Ah, uh, friends. I don't know how I managed to miss so many of them all at the same time. There's a lot of them out there. Alright. Oh crap, none of that fits. Yeah, go away. Uh, done. I have everything back on me. Yeah, I can step back in the lodging network and everything should be fine. Well, we've cleared a little bit of a path. Um, but not much, to be honest. Not much at all. Um, 
And then the other question is, how do I actually get out there to build a wall? Because I need to take power with me. I need to take, at the bare minimum, fire and lasers. And a whole bunch of wall. And I don't think that's possible via robots. Because the, like, the, the robot network is about as big as it can get. So I need to start investing in trains. Trains... Not so much to build the walls, because I can always... I can always build a temporary network out there to get stuff built. And then remove it after the fact. But maintenance, definitely. I need to get a train from, from base out to the wall to maintain the wall. Because we already know that there are going to be worms that are going to... Maybe not with the seismic towers now, but either way, there's still going to be goop. There's going to be a whole bunch of goop that needs to be brought back. Um, constantly. No, nothing there. Yeah, I haven't noticed the worms attacking at all anymore. Or maybe I'm just not paying attention. Because obviously I'm not paying attention to the piles of bodies that are outside the wall sometimes either. Um... Yeah, see, I didn't even notice this. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. That's for sure. Um, next episode, yeah, some foreplanning, I think, um, on how in hell we're going to not so much build the wall, but maintain the wall, because it's going to have to come across, like, right here. So I can always get out there and do some more nuking. And, well, I came back without any nukes on me. That's perfect timing. I didn't even realize. Um, I don't know, probably need to craft another eight Compatrons. Six, seven, eight. Um, yeah, but I'm going to have to work out some way to, to maintain the wall. Bring back all the goop. Which needs to go on the goop belt. Which is here, actually. So it's not too bad. Uh, maybe this is where we build our train. Right here. And it's going to have to service this wall. Then I'll have to service this wall. And I don't know what's happening on the other two sides. But that's where I'm going to call this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I know it's another long, long one. I thank you guys if you've hung around all the way to the end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye. Mm -hmm.